No. No, 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 no. Shut the up. Oh my god. Hey, hey how's it going? Neve. Vance. Good to meet you. I'm Cammy. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice Cam. to meet you too. Wow. Uh well, let's let her come out when she's ready. Well, thanks for showing up. Uh, not a problem. <sighs> Said I'd make it happen. You did. We're happy you're here. Yeah. I got so many questions, but I want Rachel to hear everything. So whenever you're ready, we're, we're waiting. Should I walk her over? Yeah, maybe. I'm like so stuck right now. I'm, I'm, I can't even think. It's time to boss up. Let's get it together. You owe it to yourself. You want to know. You can do it. Oh, my God. I feel sick to my stomach. Well, if you throw up, I'll catch it for you. Oh, my God. All right. Why don't you say hello? Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Oh, my God. What's going on? Hey, this is real. He's here. <laughs> Came a long way. It's been a long time. Wow. She's a little shook right now. All right, well, why don't we discuss the elephant in the room? She sort of told us that you'll kind of stop talking and she won't hear from me for a while and then you'll pop back up. Um, is that because you were in some sort of detention center or? No, not at all. We found what looks to be an arrest record. Maybe if you could just shed a little bit of light on, you know, what's been going on with you, just to give her some clarity so she, so she knows. The arrest is just what it is. It only happened one time, and it was all dismissed. So, so you did not serve time or no. you haven't been in jail or anything? No, I went to jail. They held me overnight. Oh, so well, the next okay, morning they released right, me. Right. There were a few listed from different years. In North Carolina, mostly, and then once in Florida. Mm, not with me. So I've never been arrested, arrested in Florida. Once. No. The only yeah. thing I ever got in Florida was a speeding ticket. Okay, so maybe those other things were just those speeding tickets you mentioned. Good to clear all this up. So, I see you. You live in North Carolina. Yes. What is it that you mostly do in terms of work or school? I mean, I kind of just. Been living life, bouncing around, you know. My parents weren't there for me. I kind of just been struggling. Well, I don't go to school, but work, I just kind of do, like, cash jobs, you know. What, you know, like, whatever comes my way, little gigs off of maybe Craigslist or whatnot. It hasn't been easy for me. At the moment, you have a place with friends, or? I'm actually staying with a friend as of right now. OK. You're not hiding some secret life, or? You don't have a girlfriend, or a wife, or a... Kids. No. Everything you've told her this last this whole time has been true. Yeah. You're, either your phones have been broken, or you haven't had a place, or you've been in between work, or you just haven't had money to come visit. That's all legit. That's all legit. But, I mean, the funds were never really an issue, because I've offered. <laughs> you did on the funds, but still, what about, like, the ID? It's, it's, it's not that easy. But, I mean, you need to have an ID. I don't have a lot of things. What about the times I tried to come out there? Did you come? You can't blame me for something that you didn't do. Not as easy for me just to pack up and just come. Like, I have to plan out childcare. Like, you spoke to He's saying that he felt like you sort of would bring it up, but never really follow through. It, it never went past, oh, yeah, well, I, I can come there. And then it was never really talked about again. Okay, so that day when I wrote you and you literally read it and did not say anything back to me, why could you just up and send my sister Sam a message like it was nothing? You're talking about the time you texted Sam but didn't get back to you right away. Right. Which is fine. Like, I wasn't jealous. It was more of you weren't talking to me, you weren't responding to me, you were leaving my messages unread, but you were writing her. Is that just one day? It's been a couple times. <laughs> uh, uh. Time out. This sort of sounds like a bunch of stupid petty <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look. Let's get back to the 
strange, but still, I think, lovely reality that, like, you guys have been talking for a really long time, since you were kids. You've had your life, he's had his. They've been very complicated in their own ways, but now you're here, finally. Let's not let the little sort of details totally ruin this. This is the moment you both have been waiting for for over a decade. It's not that I'm not happy to see him. I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Like, it's just a lot. He's here, right. and there's no big, crazy, messed up secret. This is the guy you've been talking to for a long time, and he came here to see you. It doesn't have to all be happy butterflies and rainbows, but it can, like, can there be a little bit of relief? I feel like maybe we need to just like... Hug it out. Just stand right, in front of him <laughs> and look at him. He's here, he's, he's, he wants to look at you, you want to look at him, just look at each other and acknowledge that like, wow, here we are. I mean, I don't even want to say it. Yeah, 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 there we go. Oh, I love love so much. <laughs> I'm real. You're real. Didn't that feel nice? This is great. I would love to just let you guys talk without our awkward supervision. We could even just sit right here on a bench. You guys have a lot to talk about. Get to know each other in real life. IRL, as they say online. IRL. OK, well, let's sit down. We're going to go hang in the car. Holler if you need us. Yeah, we'll just be right over there. This is crazy. On the phone, it's different. Cause like it's I can just talk different. to you. Very different. It don't seem real, does it? No. Ooh. I mean, wow. It was weird. Is it usually that awkward? No. Obviously, she's very nervous. She was going through a lot of yeah. emotion. Yeah. And I think he is too. I mean, I could see he was shake. He was trembling a little mm -hmm. bit. He was definitely nervous. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, they'll they'll recover from that. I think. I feel like I just like dropped my daughter off at her first date and now I'm just like trying to see what goes down. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget you can subscribe for more catfish content and if you want to watch more right now, just click right here.